All right, guys, welcome to your very first pocket base tutorial in a series of videos right here, which is essentially a uh, crash course on uh, pocket base. If you don't know what it is, it's basically a backend as a uh, service, a very minimal backend as a service, and still relatively new. But unfortunately, there isn't um, any, there aren't any good uh, learning resources out there. So that'll be the first. I did find some on YouTube, but still weren't as good as uh, as I hope to be. So before we begin, a uh, little bit of uh, one-on-one about myself here. My name is Monster Joe. My, my real name is uh, Yusuf Am. I'm currently studying at the German, German International University. Um, computer science and my major is software engineering and I love food, like seriously. I do love watching um, TV and uh, there are some favorite shows of mine like uh, See, there's Criminal Minds, my absolute favorite right now. Um, Law and Order, the, the entire uh, franchise, but I say SVU is, the, is my favorite. And then there's uh, Family Guy because... Anyway, um, let's get started. What is Pocket Base? Like I mentioned, it is a backend as a service. It's an alternative to uh, some of the major providers like Firebase, Amplify, and even Superbase. But it is very minimal in the sense that... Um, it uses some very open, like very open source. What what sets this apart from any other backend as a service is that you have to self-host it. So technically, there is no other way around this. Um, there's this one website right here where uh, it does all the hosting for you, does all this heavy lifting, so you don't have to worry about about Docker and stuff like that. And it's called Pocket Host, and I'll show you in a minute what it does. But for now, uh, just know that. You're going to have to, uh, this is a self-hosted uh, backend right here. And the best part about this is that you can use it as a framework in Go, the Golang, basically. So you can basically override the default functionality with your um, your own. And I'll show you what that, I'll show you the docs right now. It is also vertically scaled, so it scales by increasing the number of CPU cores or the amount of RAM in the... Um, in a machine but of course there are uh, limits to which you can do so under the hood uh, it uses uh, SQLite as a database now you might be thinking database SQLite is very like very minimal and just, it's a dummy database uh, database management system but it is not actually it's very capable and it works well with small to medium sized projects right here now earlier I said it was self-hosted because um, the entire um, Backend runs in a single executable, basically, uh, like like 15 megabytes, um, and the database just runs in wall mode, right ahead logging. So, essentially, what it does is like logs every single event that occurs in the database before reflecting these changes onto the da database. It's security measures, you know, check for inte data integrity and stuff like that. All right, so what are we going to learn in this course? Uh, first off, we're going to I'm going to show you how to set everything up. I already prepared some uh, startup files, but without pocket base, just so I can show you how to set it up in a JavaScript project. We're going to be using uh, React, so the focus is going to be on pocket base. If he knows some React basics, then this is this will definitely be helpful. But just so you know, I already took care of all of, all of this uh uh, react react setup we're gonna set this up first then I'm gonna like give you like a very quick tour around the, the admin UI in pocket base right here it's very versatile and uh, very interesting and then we um we are going to start coding we're gonna I'm gonna show you how to use uh, crud inside of react and how to basically make these uh, queries and stuff uh, either using a rest API or the uh, pocket base uh, methods but because pocket base does give you a rest api which you can work with so that that's cool and all i'm going to show you how to use uh, authentication using uh, an email there are several methods that you can, you can use to authenticate your app but for for all intents and purposes just keep things simple right here we're gonna i'm going to show you how to use simple username and password uh, authentication and then we're going to deploy the front end to uh Vercel. So to get started, we um, already prepared start, uh, some starter files, like I said in the beginning. All you have to do is just go to this uh, link, and I'll leave in the description. And once you're on this uh, repo, all I have to do is download this as a uh, zip file. And once you do that, uh, you should open it up inside uh, Visual Studio Code. Um, basically, what you 
do is just go to your directory and um, open up the terminal inside of this uh, directory where you saved your project then click and then type in code dot which basically opens up the uh, project directory right here inside of VS Code. But this is what I prepared earlier right here and I'm going to show you right now. Now to run the dev server all you have to do is type in npm run dev. It's using, uh, now I'm using Vite right now so it's not like create react. I've already typed in npm star so. Alright and this is our uh, home page. There is not a lot going on. I just set up some basic uh, routes and authentication right here. In this app.jsx right here um, we basically uh, set up some routing and, and stuff. So it's very basic. It's a very basic setup, and you have a page for every single um, or JSX for every single page right here. So we have the home page, login, sign up, and these are like all the routes right here. Basically, they all start with this uh, path for slash right here, root layout, and then so anything for so anything that's nested inside this uh, root component. So slash login slash sign up. Show you what I mean right here. So let me just go to the login page. You can see login right here. And that is because uh, this is using a root layout right here. It's using um, a default layout that applies to all of the every single page that is nested uh, within the within this single uh, index route right here. Also set up some basic CSS styling so you don't need to worry about that. Right here as you can see uh, we have the um, Pocket task. This is the uh, title. Gave it flex and uh, margin of margin factor eight, top and bottom. I'm using Tailwind, by the way. Like I said, you don't have to worry about about the setup. You just type in npm install uh, once you download. This is what I forgot to uh, I forgot to mention this, but you basically once you download the zip file, you have to type in npm install, then open it up in uh, VS Code or the other way around. Just make sure you do both of these steps. The nav bar right here, uh, nav bar, quote unquote, because it's technically not a nav bar, but anyway, this header right here, uh, set the sign to flex, and then uh, margin top and bottom of I don't know, like 32 pixels or 2 rem, which is a factor of 8 in uh, Tailwind, so it's like top and bottom right here. And also added like uh, like an anchor tag, which or link uh, element in this case, which it corresponds to an anchor tag in the React Router DOM. And the text is like 5XL, which is uh, very, which is like almost like an H1 tag, size of H1 element. Next, right here on the, on the right hand side, we have two buttons for the authentication, which we're going to set up later on this course, log in and sign up. Now I'm, I'm going to show you how to wrap, uh, wrap both of these buttons inside of a link tag right here. Log in, just background green, text white, and then just padding inside the buttons, like top and bottom is like two, uh, right and left four. Both of them are rounded, of course. And as for this, uh, it's basically like a, a transparent background, essentially, uh, green text, uh, borders, rounded, um, and then I gave it like, um, like margin left right here so there's uh, spacing between both buttons. Last but not least we have this uh, container class which uh, this which is right here this is going to be like the border like the border that surrounds every single element all the content inside of it so for example like all the tasks and stuff like that. Later on in this course we're gonna add more styles to this as our project grows you know when the tasks and everything. And I'm going to show you how to use material icons which I set up in this index HTML. It's using uh, Google fonts right here. I'm going to show you how to add them as well. Yeah, that is it for our uh, pocket, uh, pocket base project. Next time I'm going to show you around pocket base. Um, well, first I'm going to show you how to use it locally. Yeah, if you like this video, be sure to subscribe for more content. And um, that's it. Thank you for watching. See you next time.